Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of Shoozy's World on Planet Coaster. So, there has been quite a bit going on, and I've done quite a bit of work to the park. Now, if you see my last episode, I made three buildings, and those three buildings have since been moved elsewhere. They are no longer in the front of my park. I thought, you know, the idea of having a little bit of each theme to the front of the park from each land would really, you know, bring some sort of, you know, cool look as you enter the park. But I ended up realizing it sounded great on paper, didn't work great after the paper, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So, as you can see here, I have created our grand new entrance to our park and I so far love it. It is working great. Right now we are playing right now and um, at some point um, it's going to turn nighttime and you're going to see how it turns up at night. But I wanted to do the entrance right this time. Um, maybe it needs a few improvements here and there. But this time I think I kind of hit it on the dot with where I wanted to go. So, and a big goal for me right now is that when I start building more things, I want to be, uh, you know, ready to work at night. I want all my buildings, all my rides to work beautiful at night. You know, some people don't do, um, you know, have their park open at night, uh, you know, like certain YouTubers and stuff. But for me, I want to challenge myself. I want my park to be open at night. I am playing with money. This isn't creative. I'm going to make this park the best park I've ever made before. Now, whether or not I can beat people is not, you know, you know, I probably really can't, you know, be number one at all, considering my, you know, creativity level is not, you know, all the way up there. But um, I, I really want to do something special here is what I'm getting at. So, um, I'm challenging myself, and you're going to come along with the adventure of challenging. And if you guys have any suggestions at all, I would love it if you guys could share it with me. Because this isn't just my park, but everyone that's watching, I want you to have some sort of say in it. You know, some sort of idea that I can implement into this park. So, um, I'm going to kind of give a little bit of tour in the front of my park. Right now, I'm, I have my HUD closed so it's easier to see everything. As people enter from the tunnel in my park... Um, oh yeah, by the way, I also want this park to be real. I don't want it to be, you know... I'm trying to aim for realism in this park too. Anyway, disclaimers out of the way. Front of the park here, we have... Um, you know, very simple, uh, smooth concrete walls over here. Um, you know, kind of dividing the guests from walking off the path and going elsewhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more vegetation. But I thought it was going to be great to add two oak trees to kind of, you know, be the main centerpieces off to the side there. So, and I'll build up brush right next to it and whatnot to kind of fill in the space. But um, the one thing I want to point out are the lights here. Now, the lights on the side here are the little lamp posts and they kind of sit out so it illuminates the area. Now, I'm gonna exit off my HUD here and I'm actually gonna make sure it stays nighttime now. Um, if I go under here and I go to my box light, this is what I used to do is I used to add a box light, but as you can see, the light only goes one direction and doesn't illuminate the whole area. So I actually end up using the lamp instead to kind of illuminate the area. And plus, if I were to sink it into the wall, it would be sticking out a little bit too much. And uh, overall, I just didn't like the design of it. So we come back and over here, um, still a work in progress. Still a lot that needs to be done to the entrance of the park, but it is a good start. Um, so here at the front, uh, we have multiple lights. So I'm gonna pause it real. Well, actually, I don't need to pause it. Um, hopefully my notifications stop bugging me. I would love it if they were to stop bu bugging me right now. So I'm going to pause it. 
<laughs> it's bugging the hell out of me. Um, but the front of the park is uh, something that I'm actually proud of now. It's not just one simple entrance and nothing there. But instead we're staying consistent with the Planet Coaster theme, more of a modern look to it, and I love the blue. Um, I got the lights going right over here. Um, what I did with the sign is, is uh, you know, the sign lights up, but you know, you can't just have just one sign lit up. Uh, you kind of need more lights around it to kind of, you know, blend in the big entry piece to your park. So I actually end up having it, uh, you know, a little lit up in the back to kind of give it more of an illumination. And uh, I felt like it wasn't so chock-a-block, you know, thrown in there just where this was lit up. Um, but I also made it so, you know, people enter under these uh, entrances where I have six entrances and you have some modern lights. Um, you know, nothing overly creative here, um, but more of a modern look. People enter, it's all lit up. You know, I got these lights hanging down to make sure it's all illuminated. Got lights aiming up to kind of brighten up those columns a little bit, bring some emphasis. And if we go to the other side here, these signs are a bit bright for me, but I'm hoping to brighten up the rest of the area around it. So we'll see where it goes. But I got the, you know, the exit signs and the thanks for coming sign. Um, blended in three signs right here. Chuck, chuck them right over there. So um, I think it's looking good so far. Now going back to the front, one thing I do want to point out is this TV screen. Nothing's playing yet. Well aware of that. Not planning to play anything for a while. But this is going to be a key reminder that at some point when I get more done with the park, I'm going to make a video cinematic video of the park so when people enter my park they see how great it is and all that fun stuff it's something that I'm gonna upload to YouTube and um, you know throw right on that screen there I think I'm gonna make it a little bit more unique you know not so much just when you come up to the gate it's all lit up type thing you need a little bit more going on to excite your guests uh, acting like if they would actually get excited over that <laughs> but we come in, we got a lot more space over here. Um, right here we have two little indents with paths. And what I plan on doing with these areas is putting some information booths and maybe some bathrooms. Um, I got my bathroom over here with my staff room, but I don't know if that's always going to stay there. I may end up changing it up. So I want my information desks over here so when people enter the park, they can get their priority passes. And um, yeah, I think it's going well so far, um, but obviously still very empty. Here I have um, a little gated off area. Now I have these little areas in between uh, my pathways um, because we can't just have a whole open path. Um, when people, when there's not many people, you have a lot of dead space. So if I come down here, there's just a lot of dead space. It's not always a bad thing, but if I were to open this up, it's gonna look pretty bad. And plus when it's nighttime, I need somewhere to put more lighting so uh, more of the center is lit up rather than just the sides of our big pathways. So in here, we're gonna put some sort of centerpiece in and hopefully have some lighting in that area. Um, moving on to the next thing. Um, we're coming down. We now have a train station. Um, it still has a lot to improve off of. I need to improve on a lot of things. Uh, you know, very very blocky right now. Um, uh, the roofs are the the roofing on the uh, building is very uh, you know plain. Uh, I need to add some more you know, decoration to it. Um, obviously needs more lighting. So let's, we're actually going to hit play now and let the, let the days run through. But it, there's a lot that needs to be done right here. Uh, but we do have a train station. We did research it. Uh, nice little pretty train here. So um, we're going to have it run around our park. And uh, as of right now, 
um, there's an interior that is pitch black, but an area where guests can go straight up and, you know, well, this is the exit, but kind of does the same thing on the other side, but a place where guests can enter um, the train station and whatnot. Um, for the back of it, I don't know what I'm doing with it right now. There we go. I don't know what I'm doing with it right now. Very plain. This train, this train station obviously needs a lot of work. Um, really, that sums up the whole idea of this area. But this is going to be our fairy tale area where I'm going to end up building some sort of castle. Um, obviously, our we kind of already have one right there type thing, but kind of make more of a village around it type thing. And I needed the, I wanted to elevate the land a little bit more because I want to do more with the land. Right now, the land is very flat around the whole entire park. So, um, which I don't really mind too much. Um, and I like to, you know, do a lot with the land when it comes to rides and stuff like that. So, but I kind of need to do a little bit more when it comes to people walking around the park. Um, so right here, I have a very steep elevated path. And what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna have buildings right here and I'm gonna have some more paths that weave in and out between those buildings to kind of give it more of an old, you know, messy type uh, fairy tale feel. So like medieval feel type thing. Oh yeah, by the way, these are our buildings that we moved. So we'll figure out what to do with them later. Um, obviously that's still gonna be a restaurant. I actually wanna put it in our studios area, which we will build, I'll get back to that. But, and yes, that castle still needs to be fixed. Not doing that right now. Um, this is going to go shortly. I may end up deleting it off camera and replacing it with something else. And, um, yeah, hopefully another roller coaster is going to go over here. I'm actually thinking about a nice wooden roller coaster over here. You know, one that's long and goes down here and comes back. Um, maybe make, maybe making it more of like a vintage area over here because I also want to put like a, um, what do they call them? Like those little wild mouse rides. Because I have this one and then I have this one right here. Yeah, I don't really know what the... Yeah, there's like two different ones. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but maybe make more of a vintage area right back here and stuff. Um, so right here, uh, one thing that I want to point out are there's, there's a bunch of signs. Uh, I'm kind of laying signs around where I want to separate areas. Right now we have frontier land right here. Over here, I want to put down adventure land and then a pirate land here. Um, the adventure land, I think, would work really well in between both the frontier land and the pirate land. And the main reason because of that is because uh, there are the pirate and the frontier land both have some sort of concept with adventure. And I think it would blend in quite nicely. So that's a plan for this upcoming area. But I still want to expand more off of Frontierland, hopefully get more in there, um, but we'll see as time goes on. Uh, as for uh, other areas, I'm going to come over here. Um, we, I'm planning to have a separation right over here, um, so uh, that divides the whole entryway of our like USAA town over here, sorry, not USAA. USA town over here. Um, I'm mentioning the, you know, the banking company, insurance company, USA. <laughs> but uh, kind of have like the whole Planet Coaster feel right around here, and uh, more of like a USA type feel in this certain area. So, uh, but as of over here, I want to have a sci-fi area, kind of where I want to move next because I haven't actually built sci-fi things before. So it's going to be an experiment and, um, you know, I want to make it very condensed too. Uh, so that's one thing that I want to do with this area, uh, you know, kind of have rides that intermingle with each other and all that cool stuff. So kind of make it feel more busy like it's in the future. Now, right now the name's Future Land. I think it sounds awful. So if you have any suggestions on the name, please let me know because it may be changed in the future and there's no way I'm keeping Future Land as the name. Over here is going to be our festive area. 
Um, in between here and over here, I have a lot of space to deal with. So um, that may change in the future where it may actually end up getting very clumped together. But as of right now, I think we're gonna have a good uh, amount of space to deal with and maybe fit something else around here. But in the back, I want to have our studios area. Now, our studios area is a place that I'm gonna be excited about where our diner is gonna go at. Let's move you over here. There we go, our studios area. Um, diner's gonna be there as a restaurant and uh, you know, I think a cool thing would be this castle right here. All of a sudden we get a bunch of skyscrapers in the back type thing over here. You know, more of like a movie scene type area over here and lights and stuff. Lights that illuminate the sky and kind of go above the castle here. I think it would be awesome at night. Um, so, but a lot of this is just a lot of talking and there still needs to be a lot of doing. But, um... We're going to move on to our next thing, and since this is a challenge park, it's not only about the creativity, but it's also about making money, and making things work, and profiting, all that fun stuff. And our financials are great right now. As of right now, we're making most of our money off of rides, um, and for shops and facilities, our shops are making more money than we are losing on our facilities, but as of right now, I'm getting several complaints about um, one area particularly and that is this area and right now it's not busy but this area gets so busy sometimes that you know guests are just constantly lined up oop sorry auto saving kinda lagged right there but guests are constantly lined up and I get notified all the time, it annoys me. I need to get notified about it so I know to actually, you know, add more places around here so I earn more money. But I'm making a good profit off of all these places. Um, like, as of right now, Chief Beef is doing good. You know, every place is making money so far. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's going pretty well. Frontierland is our most popular area. And we're, we're still busy at the log flume. Um, it's an old ride, but people still love it, which is great. Earns approximately $1,200 every uh, cycle. Um, and looks like this ride broke down recently. This ride has been making the most money I've ever made on a roller coaster. And I've been earning approximately $5,000 and above, unless if it breaks down. Um, I already have it for every 20 minutes. Maybe I need to upgrade my... I'm gonna do that now. I'm actually gonna upgrade my staff member in this area. We have two in... You know, you know what? I want you to be better at your job, so we're gonna promote you. Because these rides are important. We wanna make sure he knows what he's doing. And it broke down again. That's great. Um, yeah, we may have to refurbish the ride too. So anyway, I'm getting a little bit distracted, although it's part of our management. But we're making great money, doing a lot more research, um, seeing what else I can do. But another thing that I'm trying to do is keep up with all the buildings that I've already researched, try to put that in the game. So that's why I'm trying to get this uh, fairy tale area ready. So um, anything else I want to go over? Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about one thing. This ride sucks. N like I. I learned a little bit more about uh, coaster customization and uh, you know making them better for people to ride and stuff. But if I actually go under the heat maps here, I'm killing my guests. Like right here is one spot. Um, you know this area is fine, but you know the drop here could have been better. I'm putting a lot of strain on them, and it is awful for them. Uh, vertical G-force. I'm still not vertical G-force. Now, even here, it's like, that doesn't need to be a thing. Forward G-Force, people all of a sudden get stopped right here. <laughs> get jammed up. It's funny looking at your mistakes after you, like, you built something. Um, but I don't think I really have anything else to go over. Um, once again, this is Shoesy's World, but you guys are part of the community of Shoesy's World. 
So let me know what you want to see in this park. Give me some suggestions. Give me something so I can make this park very unique. Um, you know, there's still a lot I want to do, and this is just an update. Um, but I don't really have anything else to add. Uh, be sure to join our Discord. Um, it's in the link description. Yeah, it's, there's a link in the description. Sorry if I can speak correctly. There's a link in the description. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, um, and all that fun stuff. Uh, yeah, also hit that uh, like button on the video. Uh, it helps me out and at the same time lets me know that you guys want to keep seeing these videos. I plan to continue these ser this series, but um, it still gives me good feedback. Uh, I want to hear suggestions. Throw me some suggestions. Anywhere you want to do it is fine. Those people just walked across the... Where are you guys going? You just left the park just to throw that away? Is that what happened or did you just... Okay. I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge. Whatever. Um, but also hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all Shoozy's videos. Uh, that's my name. So all my videos. Thank you. Uh, anyhow, uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in today. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.